You know, being a parent, you get reminded of many things, you learn many things, and uh, one of those things that you're reminded of is everyone really does know right from wrong, whether they've been taught it or not. A little kid, when they've done something wrong, they will go run and hide to try to stay out of trouble, or they'll lie about it to try to stay out of trouble. They know they've done something wrong, and they knew what was right. I'm Pete, and this is Shauna, and on a daily basis, we want you to come to our home and share in Bible study. We believe the best way to disciple your family is the way we do it, and that is read and study the Word of God together and then simply discuss it. Uh, today, we're on uh, Hebrews chapter 8, verses 10 and 11. I'm going to read verse 10, and then we'll get started. For this is the covenant that I will make with the house of Israel after those days, saith the Lord. I will put my laws in their heart and write them on their hearts. And I will be to them a God, and they shall be a people unto me. So the writer of Hebrews is reminded him, look, you know what? I am going to make sure that everyone knows right from wrong. I am going to write the laws of what is good and what is bad on their heart. Therefore, uh, they don't need someone to teach them or present it to them. I'm going to put it on their hearts. Uh, man and woman will know uh, what is good and pleasing to the Lord and what the Lord dislikes and hates. Right, he's speaking here. He says he's going to make this covenant with Israel after that. He's going to say, you know, and he's talking about the church. When the church is established, the, mm -hmm. the, the Christian people is going to know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. uh, there's other portions of Scripture that actually says that our conscience will bear witness against us on the day of judgment. So when you stand before God on the day of judgment and God says, why did you tell that lie? Your conscience is going to come forward and say, Lord, I told him not to do that. Now, that's something that this world cannot explain away, the conscience, right? It's inside of us. Our minds, our hearts tell us right from wrong. Mm -hmm. Like the child, when he hits his brother, runs and hides because he knows mommy and daddy's going to be mad. He knows he did wrong, yeah. right? Because something inside of him told him this is not the way they act. That's absolutely right. You know, it, it baffles those that are atheists, um, and they cannot explain away that every human has that conscience, that knowing, that ability to know right from wrong, um, even when you're not taught it, right? Um, we have to understand that the, the author is writing to the Hebrew people and the Hebrew people would have known the laws because they were taught those laws and they probably would question, well, how are uh, those that are outside of the Jewish faith, how would they know the laws? That, and and the, the God is answering those questions here. He's letting them know, look, this new covenant, I'm going to write it on everybody's heart. It has already been written on the heart of man. Uh, they're going to know what is good and what is bad. And, you know, and that gives us great responsibility in it, that we know right from wrong. Mm -hmm. Because ignorance is no longer an excuse. You can't say, I did not know. Because God has told you. And uh, God uh, deals with each and every one of us on an individual level through the heart, through the mind. Uh, he speaks to us through the conscience. And, and as believers, we have the Holy Spirit dwelling within us that also is a general and guides and directs us and tells us, no, yes, you can do that. You shouldn't do that. Stay away from there. You know, the Holy Spirit does those things. But we have to understand that we have a God who loves us so much that he isn't going to leave an excuse, right? There isn't going to be a way when you stand before him and say, I didn't know, I didn't know. He's like, no, you knew. Uh, we, my, your conscience has warned you over and over and over again. Uh, your neighbor has warned you. The preacher on TV has warned you. You knew right from wrong. You know, the, the story of old about Pinocchio, <coughs> you know, Pinocchio wasn't a real boy. Uh, so uh, what did he need once this uh, wooden puppet came to life? He needed a conscience. And he found that right in the, the Disney thing is Jiminy Cricket, right? I think that's what it is. And, and he would help him steer him in the right direction. Well, you know, that's what we have. We already have on the inside of us is a conscience to know what is good and what is bad. We have no excuse. Right. You know, not only that, we know that there is a God. There is a God right. out there, right? Mm -hmm. Because of this conscience, right? And because he speaks to us, because he, he cares enough to allow us to know that he is in existence. Mm -hmm. uh, so remember going forward, uh, continue to read Hebrews chapter 8. Uh, it's a shorter chapter, just 13 verses. I think we have one more lesson maybe. But read and study it. Discuss it as a family. Go in depth. You know, Talk about these things as a family. Mm -hmm. uh, let your children know that they have something inside of them saying, hey, look, you know right from wrong. 
right. There's not no cop out to say, I didn't know because they know. That's right. There's no excuse. We want to remind you that every day you live uh, intentionally for Christ and you exalt God, encounter God, edify yourself by reading the Word of God and engage this world for Jesus Christ. Until next time, God bless you. God bless.